because I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. I smoke my stogie with ash holes. I don't have to find a hideout place like you. <laughs> Bye day back in the humidor. Sorry, no review yesterday. I was super busy, but I am back and I do have a cigar that I want to smoke and talk about. I'm talking about the Oliva V. Not the Milanio. Did that one ready? I thought I do want to give a shout out to Smokey Boss for getting the last guess the cigar thing I did. It was the Illusioni Ultra. Good shit. Shout out to Smokey Boss. Zoom in. Oliva V actually has a uh, Lijero filler from the Jalapa region, a Nicaraguan binder and a Habano wrapper. So pretty much uh, what Lajero means is dark. So this is tobacco, the filler has a lot of uh, darkness and oiliness to it. Quickly on the note of Lajero, Lajero is usually the top part of the plant, the part that gets the most amount of sun, and ergo it's the one that's gonna produce the most amount of oil even, uh, even when you ferment it. So that's where Lajero actually comes from. Mm. It's a very chocolatey smelling wrapper. A lot of cacao notes and a little bit sour. So the filler is uh, a little bit plummy, but mostly a very nice leathery scent. Mm. Very, very. Oh wow! It even tastes really chocolatey. Mm. Woody and chocolatey. That's nice. Uh, well. Uh, Oliva cigars are constructed, they're packed really well, and we always have really good bullet smoke production. Very consistent, very, very, very good quality control. Delicious. After I get through the first bit, it does get a little bit more uh, earthy and chocolatey. And there's almost just like a little bit of sweetness similar to cinnamon right on the back of the palate. I feel like that will turn bitter pretty surprisingly. Well, first of all, look at that burn and look at that ash. Wonderful construction, like I said. The really nice part is that the chocolateiness is really staying. I did expect it to get a little bit more bitter, but it's not bitter at all. Like I said, chocolate and cinnamon is really the main thing. What I'll say is, from the beginning, it did get a little bit more uh, sour. So that's that's the, really the change that's coming through. Those flavors are kind of staying the same, but a nice sour note is definitely jumping in. So I'm approaching the van now. I gotta say, the cigar is really, really great, and it isn't a cigar that has much evolution, so if that is really what you're looking for, this isn't the one. And also, it is a pretty full-bodied cigar, so what I do suggest is before you smoke, make sure you're up by tea. It's much better. Still getting nice notes of chocolate. Um, not really chocolate, let's say like more like dark chocolate, because the sweetness is completely gone, so now it tastes more like a, a cow nips or something like that. And uh, a nice earthiness as well. Uh, surprisingly, not as much pepper. Towards the end, um, there's a bit more pepper and the earthiness does mix nicely with a little bit of leathery flavor yeah, Which is expected from Nicaraguan tobacco um, But you know the, the, there is still a very prominent taste of earthiness Another very important thing I want to point out is the lack of sweetness So now instead of having that sweetness that it had before it, that sweetness did turn into a nice spiciness So it is like burning my palate a little bit, but it's quite nice I think I will be finishing this one all the way to the end even though it's spicy. So I'm done with the cigar Good smoke, uh, a lot of pepper towards the end, uh, earth, leather. Definitely a, a really fat ring gauge cigar usually is the favorite one of the Oliva V's. So I would suggest definitely, like I said, for eating a lot. The cigar does have a lot of, um, you know, a lot of uh, oils, dark tobacco. So you may want to have a drink with it. Maybe a whiskey or a cognac will definitely go well with the Oliva V. You know what I mean? Don't expect too much evolution, but you will get a little more if you are drinking something like alcohol or maybe a little bit of black coffee would go well with it as well. You know, it would be nice. Just to make sure you have a drink to clean your palate out or you'll regret it. Just to end off this review, great cigar, definitely worth the price. Definitely worth checking out, especially if you like a little bit more fuller cigars. If you're a more medium guy, check out the O's and the G's. I might review those later. But other than that, great smoke. Really, really enjoyed it. Artie, out. I love cigars, blah, blah, blah.